So what we're going to do is we are going to do the reflection in sunglasses today. So I'm using the picture from the tutorial. You all are going to be using your own picture with somebody wearing sunglasses or yourself with sunglasses. Okay, so we have our picture open in Photoshop. And we're gonna start out, I'm gonna go right through the PDF direction, so I'll let you know which step I'm on. Step one, we're gonna select one of the lenses with your favorite selection tool. Um, you all know I like the quick selection tool on a plus. We're gonna do the left one here. For some of you, you might find it easier to use the magnetic lasso tool. You want to get a nice selection. I'm using this kind of um, large. Let me shrink it down a little bit. So once you have your lens selected, now you're going to create a new blank layer, step two. So you're going to come down next to the teeny tiny trash can. You're going to click the plus, create new layer button. And this is going to be by default named layer one. We're gonna double click and we're gonna name it left lens to make it easier for us. Okay, now we're moving on to step three. We are going to be on this left lens layer. It should be highlighted and we are going to fill it with black. So I'm gonna do mine this way, different than the directions. I'm gonna do edit, fill, I'm gonna select black, okay, there we go. And then we're going to deselect, command D on the Mac, control D on the PC. Okay, next step, we're going to bring in our reflection image, which I conveniently have right here. Um, I could copy and paste it, but I'm just going to simply grab the Move tool. I'm going to click and drag to the top tab, not letting go of my mouse button as I drag and let go of it on top. Now this image is a little large, so I'm going to free transform it, Command or Control T. And I'm going to shrink it down. So it's going to cover the lens. You could rotate it if you wanted to, if you, um, however you like it. Now that is step four. Once I've completed that, I'm gonna hit the check mark at the top or the return key or enter we will do the same thing. Now step five, I'm gonna create a clipping mask. You've done most of these steps before. So you're gonna do layer, create clipping mask. Layer, create clipping mask. And it clips to the shape of the lens. Now, I hope your selection's a little bit better than mine. Mine's a little jagged, but that's okay. Okay, so that was step five. Now we're on to step six. If we want to resize it or reposition it, again, you can do Command T and drag it to reposition it, um, rotate it however you would like, move it around until you are satisfied. Then hit the check mark at the top or enter or return. Now we're going to add an inner shadow layer style. So what we're going to do is um, we are going to click on our left lens layer. And then we're going to go down at the bottom to the little FX and we're going to select the layer and we're going on to say, hold on, let me turn this. We are going to select the inner shadow. So select inner shadow. Ooh, you can see the effect of that right away. Um, but what we're going to do, the settings are right there in the PDF, but I will tell you what they are. So we're going to put our this is going to be on black, not blue or um, purple, whatever color that was. Our opacity is going to be at 75. Our angle is going to be at 65. Our distance is going to be 1. Our choke is going to be 0. And our size is going to be 3. 
Okay, and you can play with these settings if you don't like the ones that are in the directions. I'm gonna adjust mine ever so slightly. And you can adjust yours to your liking as well. Okay, once you are satisfied, you're going to click OK. And now we're going to be on step six. We're going to be adding a slight curve to the um, left reflection. So what we're going to do is we are going to hold down shift and we're going to click on, we're going to hold down command and we're going to click on the layer thumbnail right here where my mouse is. And when we hold down command or control and click on the layer thumbnail, it will load the selection. So that is exactly what we want to do. Now we're going to go to Filter, Distort, Spearize, and we're going to be changing the amount to 25%. And you will see that it um, curves it a little bit. Step nine, we're gonna duplicate the left reflection layer. So we are going to use Shortcut we're gonna go um, which this is our um, lens reflection forgot to label it earlier okay so we're gonna come up to our top layer of the left lens reflection we're gonna duplicate it with shortcut command or control J don't be alarmed because it um, doesn't have a clipping mask so it's gonna look a little different at first um, we are going to change the blending mode to multiply so it looks a little darker and then we're going to add the clipping mask layer create clipping mask okay now at this point so that was step 10 and now we are on and uh, we just also did step 11 which was changing the blending mode to multiply um, and in the directions they have labeled this multiply also to help us keep track of it so now the glasses appear a little darker if you think it's too dark you can lower the opacity right here so that is now we're on to step 12 we're going to be making a little um, a little highlight on the glasses. So we're gonna select the gradient tool, which is right here. And then we're gonna come up and we're gonna be selecting um, our basic menu. And we are going to be selecting going to be selecting the middle one right here and then we want to set our foreground and background color to default black and white but actually we want um, white to be on top so we we're going to switch it so we want it to go from white to transparent okay so make sure if you don't have black on top you hit X to flip-flop it so that it's um, white to transparent and the checker box indicates transparency then we're going to go to our left lens layer again we're going to hold down command on the mac or control on the pc we're going to click on the thumbnail to load the selection around our lens and after we that is step 13 now we're going to go back up well we're still on our top layer we're going to add a new layer and we're going to name our new layer highlight
And then we are going to make a little highlight right here in this area. Oops, I'm on the wrong one. You want to be on the, um, let me tell you the correct gradient. We're going to be on the first one, the linear gradient. And you're just going to click and drag to make a little highlight there. And after you have done that, that is actually step 15. After you've added that little highlight, you can deselect, command D. Um, now what you're going to want to do at this point is you're going to hold down shift on your keyboard and you're going to select all of these layers right here. And you're going to click on the little folder here, which will put your layers into a group. And you're going to label this group left lens. Okay, so your whole left lens is all contained in there. And now you can go ahead, you're going to repeat the steps for the right lens. So I'm going to go ahead and do that quickly. Um, and then um, I'll come back on and finish up. Okay, so now we have our left and right lens done. Now we're going to do the background. I'm going to unlock the background layer. Um, I'm going to select my subject with my, um, I'm going to try the object selection tool this time. do um, select inverse. I'm going to hit delete and deselect. Command D or control D. And now I'm going to go to the internet. I'm going to find my background image and I'm going to bring it into my project. I'm going to do for this one command A to select all, command C to copy and command V to paste. Now you're going to want to drag that layer underneath underneath your um, model layer here and then you can clean up anything. So here I need to clean up around the hair.
and any edges go around here and clean up any rough edges. Okay, so at this point, once you get to this and you're satisfied, you're going to flatten it, layer, flatten, image, and then you can turn it in.